I've been a spear fisherman for over 50 years and I can really say that it's molded my whole life. I've been Rob Allen's business partner for 30 years and I even met my wife through a diving buddy. Um, early in 2023, I got a really bad sinus and middle ear infection. Um, within a couple of days, I was completely deaf and my ears were blocked, couldn't clear them at all. Um, this is how I solved the problem. It lasted for nearly a year, and at times I really thought that my diving days were over. Uh, I have to say that this is my story. If, you've, if you're having problems with your ears, um, equalizing them, or with your sinuses, please consult a doctor, preferably a specialist ENT. I was on holiday when I got the infection, so I only visited a, a doctor after a couple of weeks. He prescribed a course of prednisone to reduce the swelling in my ears, um, antibiotics for the infection, and also a nasal spray to help to clear my sinuses. Um, this worked to some extent. After about a week or so, I could sort of clear my ears. But when I returned to the water, after a couple of dives down, on ascent, I would, my ears would block up. Um, it's, it's a really dangerous situation because you can rupture your eardrum and that's not something you want to play around with. So I had to abort the dive. Um, I returned to the doctor um, and he said it could take um, a matter of weeks before all the fluid had drained out of my middle ear. Um, after a month or two, I returned to the water um, with the same result. Um, th this was quite depressing. I've always been able to clear my ears just by moving my jaw. Uh, it's a very easy way of doing it. You don't have to use um, a hand to block your nose. And, and because of this, I'd kind of taken um, ear equalization for granted in my diving. For 50 years, I hadn't had any problems equalizing. And to now suddenly be faced with ears that wouldn't clear and possibly not to be able to spearfish again was really depressing. In February of this year, I decided to have another attempt at solving my ear problem. The guys were preparing for a trip to Sudwana and I had about three weeks to get ready for it. The first thing was a trip to the dock again for another round of medication. I also spoke about other things that I could do in conjunction with the meds. First thing I did was to cut out dairy, um, uh, wheat products, um, anything that had sulfites as preservatives and also red wine from my diet as I've found these things block up my sinuses. I also started um, doing underwater swims in the shallow end of a pool. I felt that this would move air in and out my sinus cavities and also my middle ear without any risk of bursting an eardrum. I didn't have any problems with that, but it was really shallow, not even deep enough to trigger my watch. At the same time, I used a saline sinus rinse um, in the shower at home um, after the steam of the shower had loosened up any mucus in my nasal passages. And then another thing I tried was a device called an Otovent. Um, this has a balloon attached. You close off one of your nostrils and you blow up the balloon with the other nostril. It pressurizes your nasal cavity and gradually forces ear, uh, air into your sinuses and your middle ear. Um, it's quite safe if you have the right um, soft balloon on it. Uh, I did this um, at home while watching TV and also at work at my desk. Um, because I kept on forgetting the out event at home, I designed and 3D printed my own version of it um, at work here so I could have um, two devices. This all seemed to work quite well and after a week or 10 days I was able to move to the deep end of the pool um, without any problems. I was also able to do static breath holds on the bottom of the pool to give air time to move into my middle ear and sinus passages. The big test would be the trip to Sudwana Bay where it would be a full day of diving. After a long day of diving, um, the first day at Sudwana Bay, I managed to dive without any problems, uh, well with minor problems. Towards the end of the day, my ears started squeaking a bit, so I stopped to rest them. But otherwise, it was a good day of diving and I shot fish. And the second and third days went really well. 
The only thing was I still had to hold my nose every now and again to um, assist with clearing my ears. And a couple of times I could feel a blockage coming on when I was ascending. What I found was if I just paused a bit, held my nose and gave a slight pressurization, it seemed to clear the blockage. That's something to maybe remember if you are, if you're suddenly faced with a problem of ascending and you get a reverse block. Just try that rather than risk bursting your eardrum. But don't delay too long and end up blacking out on the way up. A few weeks later, we did a trip down to the trance car and again, it was three days of good diving. Um, water a bit dirty, but some of the dives were pretty deep. The deepest I'd done since I'd uh, started with the problem. I did a dive to um, over 24 meters with hardly any clearing necessary on the way down. Um, so the whole, whole thing worked out well in the end. I was able to carry on with my spearfishing and I'm really happy about that. To sum up the whole thing, if you have problems equalizing your ears, the first thing to do is to consult a doctor and listen to the advice you get. Talk to the doctor about other things you can do in conjunction with the treatment that is prescribed. Maybe use a sinus rinse, change your diet a bit. Um, you probably already know things that um, give you a stuffy nose. Use an Otovent if you can find one. Um, that really seems to work well and it's quite convenient because you can do it, like I said, at your desk or while you're watching TV. You'll just get some strange looks from the people around you when you start blowing up balloons with your nose. Um, and then try shallow underwater swims in the pool. But really, I have to say this, stop if your ears or sinuses hurt. Don't do any damage because you'll just make the problem worse. When you're confident in the shallow end, gradually move deeper. And if you can do a dive to three meters in a pool, you're well on the way to spearfishing in the sea because the percentage pressure change is much greater in the first part of your dive. You can also try static um, dives, just holding on under the pool stairs on something um, at the bottom of the pool, just to allow your ears to um, uh, clear at depth and then assess how they do on ascent. If you are having problems with your ears, remember, consult a doctor first, um, consider other methods um, in conjunction with what's prescribed, and I hope your ears come right soon and you're back in the water spearfishing.